Hello everyone. I'm here on Huffington Post again. Charing Cross gas leak cause causes travel chaos. They love that word chaos and massive evacuations. Chaos in London. Notice how a lot's happening in London these days. Not a lot going on there. And then was it a few weeks ago? There was this. Whoops. Another fire in London. Staples Corner fire. That's another one. When was that? Not all the eighth of January. And then we've got a massive earthquake in Alaska. So there's a lot going on. Seven point nine magnitude. Here's a smart idea for mine. Control your heating from your phone, so you can make sure it's nice and toasty. Rubbish. And then, this caught my attention. This is what Earth could look like after a nuclear attack. We need to get rid of nuclear weapons before they get rid of us. It's not just nuclear weapons, it's everything. And what we got over here? 119. 9-11. Coincidence, yeah, I know. I just get fed up with all the coincidences. No coincidence. The Federal Reserve was born not long after the Titanic sunk. No coincidence after that we went through two world wars. 9-11, more wars. 7-7, more wars. No coincidence is them, is there? I've read a bit of this, but <laughs> what's the point? But the most important thing down here, at the bottom. HuffPost Tech has launched HuffPost Apocalypse, a week-long blog project that aims to investigate what an apocalypse would look like for humanity. I just don't know what on earth these people are thinking. It's drip, drip, drip to me. How we can best delay the end of the world. What the world would look like after you're gone. And what the best viable options for survival would be for anyone left. Join the conversation. So I don't know what's coming people, but I don't like the headlines at all, fires everywhere, and then, uh, oh, oh, we're just going to do this for a week, yeah, just, you know, just to see what it looks like. 